students, nursing students, pharmacy students, and those who are preparing for USMLE or any other medical board examinations. So today's video, we're going to talk about the physiological changes that take place due to the what you call BST, BST ventricular septal defect. Okay, so what are the changes that takes place physiological changes okay due to this VST you know the VST there are different types like it can be small moderate severe inlet VST outlet VST muscular VST perimembranous VST right so what happens when there is a change in uh, what you call the physiological changes that you expect in a patient with VST and what are the different types of murmur that you hear when there is a VST okay so let's talk about this. So let's start. You know the VST, ventricular septal defect. If this is a heart, okay, and this is a septum. Sorry, okay. Here is the hole, right? So the blood flows from left ventricle to the right ventricle because of the pressure gradient, and it can happen like this also, right? You know it, as it is very severe. It grows very severe. So let's talk about this. The physiological change, the first we expect is when the blood flows through the VST during the systole, okay, the systole from left ventricle to the right ventricle. As I said you, this is a right atrium, this is a left atrium, okay, and these are the walls, tricuspid and tricuspid and mitral, and this is let me make a hole over here okay this is the right ventricle that gives us to pulmonary artery right and this is a VST okay that's a left ventricle right and that gives us to aorta right aorta okay so you know everything when the blood flows through the VSD during systole what is systole systole is nothing but the contraction right the depolarization of the left ventricle okay when there's a depolarization of the left ventricle the pressure is more in the left ventricle and that pushes the blood from left ventricle to the right ventricle lv to rv right this is the basic so the type of murmur you hear is a pansystolic murmur which drowns the first sound so he's gonna hear pansystolic murmur remember because it's heard all over the systole that's why it's known as a pansystolic murmur right now at the end of systole the left ventricular pressure is low at the end of systole when the systole starts coming down the low the left ventricular pressure decreases and the pressure in the iota increases okay but remember the pressure in what you call the left ventricle is more than the rvp that is right ventricular pressure okay so what happens when the at the end of systole at the end of systole the left ventricular pressure is lower than the aortic pressure AP let me draw okay but the left ventricular pressure is still greater than right ventricular pressure so because of this you see you hear a murmur that's early closure of aortic wall a2 remember it's not a murmur i'm talking about it's a a2 early closure of aortic wall okay the continuation of the murmur beyond a2 can be also be heard remember okay so this gives rise to early closure of aortic wall so in clinicals they might ask you why there is the early closure of aortic wall in VST is because at the end of the systole the left ventricular pressure is less than uh, less left ventricular pressure is less than the pressure in the aorta aorta and the left ventricular pressure but still more in the right, more than RVP that's the right ventricular pressure. Now let's move on to the next physiology physiological change. The right ventricle dry, derives a large quantity of blood. This is the right ventricle, okay? It derives a large quantity of blood due to the shunt, which passes onto the pulmonary trunk through the normal-sized pulmonary artery. So, when the blood in the because the blood in the right ventricle is coming from the right atria, it's also coming from the left ventricle because of the more pressure in the left ventricle. The left ventricle pushes the blood into the what you call into the right ventricle, okay? So whoever has a big pressure will dominate, right? 
so just the left right ventricle will have more amount of uh, what you call uh, the the blood in the right ventricle okay so ejection systolic murmur at the pulmonary area is seen remember this is the area where you see the ejection systolic murmur right guys so very important we are talking about right very important points now the ejection systolic murmur at the pulmonary area why because the pulmonary area are normal but the amount of blood that is being pumped is more into the uh, normal sized pulmonary uh, artery so you hear a ejection systolic murmur okay however the this results in the conduction of what you call pan systolic murmur to the left parasternal region also now the large quantity of blood flows to the right ventricle delays the closure of pulmonary wall the next physiological change that is going to happen and if this happens that results in a loud loud and late p2 okay right loud and because you know there is a physiological split also during inspiration when you inspire the negative pressure is more the more blood is uh, is reaching the right side of the heart and thus the p2 will close later than the a2 right so this is the physiological split but here what happens because of the large quantity of the blood in the right ventricle and this blood flows through the has to flow through the pulmonary artery normal sized pulmonary artery and results in late closure of p2 okay so now again what next physiological change is if there is a large quantity of blood passing through the pulmonary artery to the lungs then the, in, on, if you take a chest x-ray you see plethora of lung fields plethora of lung fields very important okay so no need to what you call memorize all those things just a physiological change we are talking from a basics uh, okay so how do what are the changes that takes place during uh, uh, vst uh, blood flow okay and from the lungs to the left atrium again the blood flows and this results in and because the right ventricle has a more blood the pulmonary artery gets more blood the the, the left atria from the lungs gets some more blood so the left atrial enlargement takes place okay so left atrial enlargement remember right the large quantity of blood passes from the enlarged left atrium through normal sized mitral wall into the left ventricle and that results in a murmur known as mid diastolic murmur mid diastolic murmur remember mid diastolic murmur at the apical area so now you got an idea so what are the physiological changes that takes place right guys so thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure you got an idea about the physiological changes due to vst okay so thank you so much for watching this video take care